Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I've got two different user accounts on my computer. I've got my main user account here, Andrew Tai, and also have an additional admin account, which is simply another administrator account on my macOS Ventura installation. And today I'm going to do is to show you how to delete any kind of additional accounts on your macOS install. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So this is going to be pretty straightforward to delete. So all we're going to do is to go to users and group settings. So if you don't have this menu bar icon here where you have the ability to quickly select different users, what you can do is to click the icon on the top left hand side, this Apple logo here, click on system settings. And then within the sidebar on the left, what we're going to do is to scroll down and then we're going to find users and groups. And within this section here, we have the account that we're using and then any additional accounts here. What we want to do is to find the row of the account that we want to delete. And then I'm going to click the I button here. And this is going to give us the menu for deleting the account. What I'm going to do here is to press the delete account button. Now, once we've clicked this, what I'm going to do is to type in my administrator password of my main account, then press the unlock button. And at this stage, it's going to ask us, are you sure you want to delete the user account admin? So just be aware that if we do any kind of deletion, there's a potential that we're not going to be able to recover the data. So just make sure you've made a copy of anything important. You've backed everything up that you need because this process is pretty much irreversible. So anyway, the computer is now asking us where to save the data for this particular user account. We can save the home folder as a disk image. So that means that the home user folder will become accessible in the deleted users folder, or we can not make changes to the home folder. Or if you want to make sure that we save the maximum amount of space, we can select delete the home folder, which is what we're going to do today. So what I'm going to do now is to press delete account. And once I press that red button, that account has gone forever. So that is now fully deleted and we've pretty much completed our goal. So anyway, that is how you delete a user account on macOS Ventura. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.